Is Kawaki Naruto's son? Nine other questions about the character answered. Although much about Boruto's Kawaki remains a mystery to this day, a lot of the questions that fans had in their heads have already been answered. Kawaki is one of the main characters of Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, the sequel to Masashi Kishimoto's Naruto manga. Introduced in the prologue of the story as an opponent of Boruto Uzumaki, Kawaki managed to catch the eye of the fans quite early. As the main storyline progressed, Kawaki was eventually introduced as a vessel that an organization known as Kara was hunting. Although much about his character remains a mystery to this day, a lot of the questions that the fans had in their heads have already been answered. 10. Is Kawaki Naruto's son? Naruto raised him just like Boruto Himawari, but he isn't his biological father. Kawaki was once a member of Kara and prior to that, spent his life with his biological father who often abused him. Jigen eventually approached him and offered money in exchange for Kawaki. It is only after Kawaki runs from Jigen that he runs into Kanahagakur Shinobi and is eventually taken in by the 7th Hokage. Naruto Uzumaki As a part of the Uzumaki household, Naruto raises him just like Boruto and Himawari, but isn't his biological father. 9. Who raised Kawaki? His father raised him for quite a while eventually sold him to Jigen for money. Most of Kawaki's early life is spent while being abused by one caretaker or another. His father raised him for quite a while and eventually sold him to Jigen for money. Later, Kawaki was raised by Jigen and the way of fighting was beaten into him, making Jigen no better than his biological father. Kawaki was also forcibly made to receive the karma by Jigen and turned into a vessel. His only purpose was supposed to be an empty vessel for the sake of Ishiki. 8. Was Kawaki created by Orochimaru? Kawaki is a human his entire body has been modified with scientific ninja technology by Amado. Orochimaru was thought to have some sort of connection to Kawaki before his origins were properly explained. However, he has no connection to the child and is not responsible for his creation. While Orochimaru did create Mitsuki, Kawaki is quite different as he isn't synthetically created. To begin with, Kawaki is a human, however, his entire body has been modified with scientific ninja technology by Amato, making him a work of art. 7. What value does Kawaki hold to Kara? Jigen wanted a perfect body to be reborn into, which is what Kawaki was supposed to be. Kawaki's introduction made it quite clear that he was being hunted by Kara. This is simply because he was forced to be one of them and raised to become the vessel of Ishiki Atsutsuki. Ishiki used Jigen as his vessel for quite a long time, however, eventually. He wanted a perfect body to be reborn into, which is what Kawaki was supposed to be. 6. Is Kawaki Boruto's rival? Yes, but their rivalry is friendly for the most part. Kawaki is one of the strongest characters in the next generation of Naruto and thus is automatically a rival for Boruto's Uzumaki. What fuels this rivalry, even more, is the fact that the two often train together and possess similar powers. However, despite all that, Boruto and Kawaki treat each other like brothers and share an incredibly strong bond. As such, their rivalry is friendly for the most part. 5. Who gave Kawaki the karma? Jigen wanted a perfect vessel to be reborn into that's why Kawaki was given the karma. Kawaki was quite an asset to Kara and was key to the goals of Ashiki Atsutsuki. Jigen, the leader of Kara, wanted a perfect vessel to be reborn into and that's why Kawaki was given the karma. The experiment was carried out on several children, most of which couldn't handle the karma and ended up dying. Kawaki, along with a code, was the only one who managed to survive this. Thus, his karma comes directly from Kagaya's partner, Ishiki Atsutsuki. 
4. How strong is Kawaki? Kawaki is known to be quite powerful even though he hardly knows any ninjutsu. Thanks to his body being modified with scientific technology, he can easily fight a Kara outer. Something that even a Jonin can struggle with. Furthermore, when Kawaki had the karma, his power was boosted dramatically upon using it. After losing this power, however, Kawaki has weakened a bit. Nonetheless, under Naruto's training, he's bound to grow even stronger. 3. Does Kawaki have a Kekiai Genkai? No, he doesn't possess a Kekiai Genkai. Kawaki has multiple abilities up his sleeve, such as manipulating his limbs to attack others, as seen in his fight against Garo. However, he doesn't possess a Kekiai Genkai. Kawaki had no knowledge of ninjutsu prior to meeting Naruto. After training under him, he can perform techniques such as the Shadow Clone Jutsu. His nature affinity is known to be fire release. 2. Is Kawaki an Atsutsuki? Kawaki is almost a complete Atsutsuki being. Kawaki's body was made to be a vessel for Ishiki Atsutsuki, and for quite a long time, he bore the karma which was slowly taking over his body with time. By the time Kawaki lost his karma, his body had already been Atsutsukified up to about 80%. Thus, Kawaki is almost a complete Atsutsuki being, yet at the same time, not quite there. In the future, this is likely to affect his character in some way. 1. Does Kawaki destroy Kanahagakur? Kawaki does have some part to play in the destruction of the village. In the prologue of Boruto, Kawaki is seen fighting Boruto Uzumaki in Kanahagakur and the entire village appears to have been destroyed. What exactly transpired there remains unknown to date, however, Kawaki does have some part to play in the destruction of the village. What's more, Kawaki possesses karma once more at this point and it is possible that he's under Atsutsuki influence. Regardless, he vows to defeat Boruto and declares the age of Shinobi to be over. <laughs>